Welcome back everybody to episode 2 of the Minecraft adventure with my wife and I. Okay, I something to drink before I start this. And we're back. What is up everybody? Episode 2, Minecraft Adventures with Joda and his wife. In this episode, I'm going to be providing a lot more commentary than I did in the first one. And you're going to see a lot of us kind of just wandering around, not really knowing what to do. Um, but basically all we're trying to do is figure out where we want to build our house and I'm trying to get some farming going so that we don't die like within the first couple days because we don't have any food. If you do enjoy this series, please leave a like and subscribe down below. It would mean the world to me. I plan on maybe starting up streaming on Twitch. So if you look down in the description, you'll find my Twitch link there. Feel free to check me out. Other than that, let's get right into it. Hey, don't, don't kill yourself already. Especially the fall damage. Think of how sad that would be, bro. ends on episode one because Timmy dies to fall damage. I have to start like a season two. <laughs> Are you kidding me? What? The freaking brown sheet. Uh... Hey, there's a couple. There's one white one. How many... I, think we, I have one extra white wool. I think I had four white wool. There's a baby white sheepers here, but we're not grown yet. Gonna have to wait for that. Find us another white sheep. I'm trying to get the whole tree so that I can maybe get some saplings for us to grow. That's a good thing. Yay, there we go. All right, we got this. I thought I saw a creeper and it freaked out or something. We got a swamp here. Do we ever need, like, sticky piston or whatever? Slightly less useful on this one, but we're not really trying to hide our houses like we did. And I'm totally cool with I, if we want to adventure a little bit more before we, like, settle on a location. I don't even know if this is really the best location anyways. I got like acacia and swamps up near us. I'm not opposed to those being near us. I don't kind of like gross biomes. Mm. I'll go with explore a little more. Wait, I want to get two more of these dark oak saplings. So you only have two? No, I have ten, but I want to have like an even amount to and if we're gonna go exploring it's better to do the lighthouse I agree right. get away from the fall or you can climb and build up there and I'm down if you want to. So you want some dirt? You got dirt. I have some with it. Oh, I don't have any, but it's okay. Shall I wait? Did you get two? Can you see my name? The direction you were running was correct. Why? I? I don't see it. Hey, I'm all across the water. Ah. Oh, there's more sheep. All right, we already have two beds though, so that would just be for food. Okay, if you want to. But I don't like this little area here. Do you want to like build a house in this flat area? Oh, you want the snow, didn't you? Yeah, but I mean, if you want to do it here, that's fine. I don't really care. 
It's, it's a nice big flat area that we could do a lot with. And it wouldn't take very much, uh... Leveling? Yeah, exactly. We could make, like, huge farms and a big house and all kinds of stuff. But that sun's about to go down. I'm gonna go ahead and plop our two beds on the ground. So we're gonna place the sleep. During this fast. I mean, we can sleep before it's dark enough to spawn a bunch of stuff. Yeah. All right, well, I am leveling out all the ground. I wanted to come back through and sort of provide a little more commentary on everything that just happened. If you notice, there's a couple things. Number one, we kind of prepped to go like a really long ways to find our house and figure out where we wanted to live because she wanted to live in some sort of snow biome on a mountain. And then we get to this like flat location. I'm like, hey, we should build a house here. Even though it was like less than a hundred blocks away from exactly where we started. But as you can see throughout the rest of this video, it really works out well. Most of the rest of this part that you're watching right now is just me leveling out the ground. Right now I'm kind of planning on building a whole bunch of farms here and maybe putting some pins up for some animals. Overall though, it just has every quality that you're really looking for when you're trying to find a place to build a house. You look for a flat location, especially if you're going to want to have some sort of animals or farms. And you also look for a location that has maybe some resources that you enjoy to use. For me, I personally really like dark oak, so it's right next to a dark oak forest, which was ideal for me. One additional thing that I really wanted to do throughout this series was engage my wife's creative side. She's, she's very, very creative, so I wanted her to sort of take charge and build the house. I do have a tendency to maybe get involved in that a little bit more than maybe I should. Um, but I, I think the house that she builds by the end of this episode is absolutely fantastic. And as you'll see in episodes to come, it actually serves its purpose very, very well. Now, I'm sure you can probably tell by now that neither one of us are top tier or the best Minecraft players in the entire world. We both just really enjoy playing Minecraft and we both enjoy playing games together. So that's one thing I want to kind of do as I restart this channel is create content with people that I enjoy creating content with, mostly because that's really what I enjoy. So if there's any games that you think you would like to see us play or me play or me collaborate with other people on, please leave a comment down below and I will look into it. I'll see. Oh, I might not enough. What? <laughs> I have more than one hoe. That's all I'm saying. Hmm? I have 14. Oh no, I have 64 plus 14. Probably as far as I can go there. Alright, sun's getting low again. Eventually, you'll need to. You're pretty quick. 